Australia is an amazing country that is 14 times bigger than France. Yes, 14 times bigger. This enormous country on the other side of the world has some incredible sights to see with landscapes that range from harsh desert to magnificent beaches, lush rainforest and even snowy mountains. Australia has it all. It is also home to unique wildlife with animals and plants that don't exist anywhere else in the world. Today I will talk to you about my country, the amazing Australia. Australia is an island country in the southern hemisphere and is surrounded by the Indian Ocean on the west and the Pacific Ocean on the east. Australia is the sixth largest country in the world after Russia, Canada, USA, China and Brazil. The country is divided into six states. South Australia, Western Australia, New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria and Tasmania. There are also two territories, the Northern Territory and the Australian Capital Territory which is around Canberra, the capital city. The country's interior consists of arid and semi-arid areas which are referred to as the outback. About 70% of Australia is the outback, while the coastal plains are more fertile and that is where the majority of Australia's population of 25 and a half million people live today. In fact, most of Australia's population live in the eastern and southern parts of the country along the coastline. The biggest cities in Australia are Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, Brisbane and Adelaide. These cities are all located at the coast or close to the coast and are the only metropolitan cities in Australia with more than one million inhabitants. Australia's capital city is Canberra a city much smaller than Sydney and Melbourne and it is also the only major city of the country that is not near the coast. It's about 150 kilometres from the Pacific Ocean and about 280 kilometres southwest of Sydney. The original inhabitants of Australia were the Aboriginals who have lived on the continent for more than 50,000 years. Theirs is one of the oldest living civilizations in the world. Today they make up less than 2% of Australia's population and many still live in the outback far from the big cities. Despite the harsh conditions of Australia's outback, the Aboriginal people adapted to their environment and learned to live well in the difficult conditions. They were hunter-gatherers and learnt how to use their knowledge to survive. Aboriginals spoke different tribal languages depending on where they lived but today they celebrate their culture and heritage under one flag, the black, yellow and red, 
that represents the sun, the desert and the sky. Many Aboriginals also continue their traditions through art with a very distinctive style which has become popular around the world. The Aboriginals believe many places in Australia to be spiritually important and probably the most important is Uluru, an enormous sandstone rock in the middle of Australia that is three kilometres long and two kilometres wide and it appears to change colour depending on the sun and the time of day. It's impossible to talk about Australia without talking about the animals that live there. There are so many interesting animals in Australia and an incredible four out of five animals that live there can only be found in Australia. Among the unique animal species are the monotremes, which are mammals that lay eggs. The platypus and two species of echidna are the world's only monotremes. The platypus are small, shy animals and they have a flat head and body to help them glide through the water. Their most remarkable feature is their nose or bill, which looks like a duck. They also have a tail that looks like a beaver. They spend most of their time in the water, but they have fur, which is thick and repels water to keep them warm and dry, even after hours of swimming. The other Australian monotrem is the echidna. Echidnas are covered in spines that can protect it from predators. With its long, sharp claws, they quickly dig a hole until only their spines are showing, and they stay that way until the predator leaves. They can also protect themselves in case of a fire by digging a big hole and burying themselves to stay out of reach of the fire. Australia has almost 400 mammal species and about 140 species of marsupials, which are mammals that carry their young in a pouch. Probably the most famous marsupials are the koalas and the kangaroos. Both marsupials are native to Australia and are truly unique animals. There are many different types of kangaroos in Australia, but the biggest are the red kangaroo. That can grow up to two metres tall and they can leap with their big back feet an impressive nine metres in length and three metres high. Their maximum speed as they are jumping is 60 kilometres per hour. The other iconic Australian marsupial the koala is much less active, sleeping up to 18 hours per day. It is a herbivore and only eats certain types of eucalyptus trees. They get all their water through eating the leaves and almost never drink. In fact, koala means no drink in ancient Aboriginal language. Other impressive animals from Australia include thousands of different birds that are not found elsewhere. In fact, half of the birds that live in Australia can only be found in Australia. 
among the Australian bird species are the kookaburra, the emu, and the rainbow lorikeet, an especially colourful parrot which has a red beak and multicolour feathers. Australia is famous for its beaches and with almost 26,000 kilometres of coastline, Australia has a lot of beaches. The most famous is Bondi Beach, as it's only 10 kilometres from the heart of Sydney, so it is very popular with tourists. But there are many beaches in Sydney that are equally beautiful and less crowded. Manly Beach is another that is popular in Sydney and you can visit it from the CBD by catching the ferry. In fact, it's a great way of travelling and people that live in the Manly region catch the ferry to work every day and experience the amazing views of Sydney Harbour morning and night. Traffic and stress free. Every beach in Australia is different, from the beaches of Melbourne, to the empty and pristine beaches of Tasmania, to the tropical paradise of beaches in northern Queensland. One of the most popular holidays in Australia is to take the 1000 km Beach Highway, the Pacific Highway, from Sydney to Brisbane, and to stop along the way at the coastal towns and enjoy the beaches. A common final destination is the Gold Coast, 22 kilometres of white sandy beaches just after the Queensland border. And this region is often referred to as the holiday capital of Australia. What started out as a small holiday town 70 years ago has now developed into a city in its own right as the population has grown as people move there for the year round good weather and amazing nature on offer. Apart from the animals, the landscapes and the beaches, other sights to see include the Sydney Harbour Bridge, the Sydney Opera House, the Great Ocean Road, the Great Barrier Reef, the thousands of different national parks, Fraser Island, Flinders Ranges, and many more. In fact, you could easily travel in Australia for a year and still not see everything. Here are some more images to leave you with today of some of my favourite spots. Enjoy Australia.